I like trying sponges Elf. I keep saying from Elf, like this is not a fully dedicated video to Elf. That's what she said. <laughs> Ow, poked my eyeball. Yes, Elf, yes. Hey, beautiful people. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of e.l.f. Cosmetics, which is literally my favorite drugstore brand. I'm so excited. I have some new products to test out and I have some holy grails that I'm going to be sharing with you today. So I'm really excited to get into it. If you're new here, hi, I like color and you'll be seeing a pretty nice colorful look. Hint, hint, mint. If you like color and you want to see a little bit more colorful looks and like not so plain, boring, neutral looks on your feed, then please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for videos three times a week. And let's get into this video okay so the first thing i actually have is the elf red or dye lip balm i love the clear one because i like to put this on before i put on makeup you have to kind of massage it because it's really 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 hard to get out it is such a thick formula i've been loving this for so long it's really it like honestly feels like vaseline but it's so affordable it's probably cheaper than vaseline it has like a little minty feeling this is mighty mint i believe so it's clear they do have different shades like they have the like peachy ones and some ones like some tints if you're interested in that but i prefer just the like nice little clear one and i put this on pretty much every single day right before i do the rest of my makeup so my lips can feel nice and hydrated when i put lip products on so i absolutely love it for brows i actually have a new product to test out this is the elf lock on liner and brow cream in the shade espresso i believe i could be wrong this is the darkest shade that they offer this is what the packaging looks like it looks really similar to it doesn't oh there it is it does say elf on it i was gonna say it doesn't say Elf. Ooh, of course I did. It's so satisfying to like dip into a pomade for the first time, like a new a new pomade. But I, it does seem like it's gonna be a little too late. Like I, I don't know. I don't know if I just missed it, but I did buy all the almost all the new products I bought came from the Elf website directly. Oh, it's a lot darker. Oh, it's really really smooth. I like it. So I've been loving like fluffing my brows upwards with the Benefit Brow Conditioning Primer and then just going in with the pomade. This one is a lot smoother than the ABH pomade, like a lot smoother, like a lot easier to spread. Oh, I like this stuff a lot. I would say this is a dupe for it, but it's even more creamy. I like it. I like it a lot. I honestly totally forgot about this, but this is the Instant Brow Lift Brow Pencil. I actually don't really use a brow pencil much, but we're just going to test this out anyway because that's what this video is all about, right? So this is what it looks like. It's a retractable pencil. It is quite larger than I would like, and this is in the shade black, by the way. I'm pretty sure. It doesn't even say it. Oh, yeah, it is. It's black, and then it has a spoolie on the other end. So let's see if it darkens up my brows a little bit, even though I think the color is pretty good, actually. Oh, it's really creamy. I like it. To set my brows, I have the Wow Brow. <laughs> so this is a dupe for the Boy Brow. If you saw my last video, it is a dupes video. I need to talk about this in comparison to the Boy Brow from Glossier, but this is like a shade like too light. So I definitely want to get a different one because it's not my favorite at the moment just because the shade doesn't match my brows like perfectly, but it's okay. So I do have the two new mint eyeshadow palettes and I'm really excited because I wanted these like for so long, but I just didn't get them. I know like by the time this goes up, like it's going to be old news to be honest. These are my colors. Like I'm not going to lie to you. I'm really excited to try out this palette. This one is called Mint to Be and this one is called Chocolate Mint. Super cute. I love these colors. Sorry guys, I am watching The 100 and this is the episode Prime Fire. I forgot what happened here. Like I've seen it before, but like I'm still shocked. Like how, how, what? Anyway, these swatch so nicely. I love the mattes, the everything's so buttery and smooth, like just everything in general. Okay, so I'm gonna first take this shade right here, literally my life the best the prettiest shade. Like honestly, it is very, very light, but if you're fair like me, it will probably work for you. I'm just taking a really fluffy brush and just putting that all over the crease. All right, then I'm going to take the deeper, more, I don't know what to call this shade, but it's a nice shade. I'm going to deepen the outer corner and the crease. This is blending out so nicely. I love these shades so much. Like literally my favorite shades ever. Now I'm going to take more of the first shade and just blend out the outer edges. Make sure that mint color is really peeking through. On the lid, I'm going to take this shade over here. This is stunning, you guys. Let's see how it performs without setting spray or like cutting my crease. I think it might need some setting spray. Yeah, it definitely works a little bit better with some setting spray and... Even with my finger, I made it pop a little bit more. I'm just going to take a little bit more of that deep shade and just blend it into the lid shade. 
Such a stunning color combo. I really am liking this. For the face, I have a primer to test out today. I've never tried this one before. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I have dry skin, so I need all the dew in the world. But I'm really excited because this is a gel texture. It works like glue to grip your makeup. I've heard this is a dupe for the Milk Makeup hydro grip it's packed with skin loving ingredients like hyaluronic acid and a powerful blend of antioxidants i do need a, a pore smoothing primer so i also have the luminous putty primer which honestly is not my favorite thing in the whole wide world i don't even like the original putty primer that much either but we're gonna just put this in the areas where i really need it because otherwise i'm afraid my texture is gonna peek through and i am trying out a new foundation today from elf so i do need to test it out um with a good primer i need to make sure that my pores are like nice and you know whatever so this is what it looks like the packaging is everything though all right let's see how this goes my friend zaza thinks that there is smoothing benefits to this so we'll see i've heard hyaluronic acid is it is really good for like dry skin and you know it does smooth out a little bit oh it smells so good it smells like watermelon yeah i've heard that oh i actually do see that it smooths a little bit like right off the bat but definitely it feels tacky, which is awesome. It means that your makeup's gonna last all day. Definitely. I can even like it feels like a little sticky. Hopefully it smooths to my satisfaction. Just in case it doesn't, we're gonna use this. This is how much I don't like it. I've used it like a few times and I just I can't. But we're gonna put this right here. That's where I need the smoothing the most. Honestly, I see more of a luminous situation than a smoothing situation, but whatever definitely feeling really tacky and hopefully smoothed out but we're gonna try out the elf cc cream the camo cc cream that everyone's been raving about finally picked this up but i don't even know what a cc cream is i'm not even gonna lie to you i've never tried one before so i have nothing to compare it to but like i literally just use like normal foundations i got the shade light 210n it seems a little dark in the in the packaging but we'll see i don't know so this is what the packaging looks like not that you haven't seen this before to be honest because i'm sure you have oh i do have okay so i got this little set from the elf website this is the concealer brush and sponge duo i really wanted just the sponge this is i think the camo what's it called the camo concealer sponge i really wanted this but it it was sold out so they had it with a like little set with like a limited edition concealer brush which i'm a huge fan of the concealer brush by the way this is really small <laughs> i'm gonna try the foundation or the cc cream on one side of my face with a sponge and the other side oh i have a foundation brush to test out this is the ultimate blending brush from elf i keep saying from elf like this is not a fully dedicated video to elf i've heard great things about this so we're gonna try this out it seems pretty dense so hopefully i like it it's you know, elf brushes, I don't understand how they, like, are so affordable. They're really affordable. I'm gonna go wet the sponge. It looks really, really small, but I'm gonna wet it and see how much it expands. Hopefully, it does expand. It definitely got a little bit bigger, but it's still not as big as I would like it. That's what she said. <laughs> so, let's see the consistency of this. I'm really intrigued by it. Everyone seems to love it or hate it. Like, there's a lot of mixed reviews out there. It's a lot thicker than I thought. I've heard it's really, really full coverage. I just want to, like, swatch it. Okay, I don't want to waste product either, so we're going to put it on my face. Seemed a little dark. It is very, very thick in consistency. Wow. So I'm going to use the sponge on this side because why not? Hopefully I like the sponge. Yeah, it's a little dark. Just a little bit. I think I might be able to make it work. It blended out so nicely. I feel like the sponge would be really good for concealer, like right up under the eye. That has a really nice, nice point. I don't know. I'm really liking this so far, but I think it's too soon to tell. All right, I'm gonna try to use the foundation brush. Hopefully I like this. I'm very picky about my brushes. The brushes I use to put on foundation. Whoa. Definitely get more coverage, obviously, with the brush, so gotta be a bit more careful. I think I like the concealer, I mean, the sponge already. I think the brush would work with other foundations of mine, but I think I do like the application with the sponge. It does take away a little bit of the product, and that's kind of what I look for a sponge not to have but it just makes it look overall like a little bit more natural like the finish is more natural I covered up all my redness it's not too heavy on the skin it feels really good for concealer i have the elf 16 hour camo concealer this is the original so i did try this when it first like came out i feel like and i wasn't a huge fan of it i even decolored it this is a new one when they came out with the hydrating one i was like bet that's gonna work for my skin i'm so excited like oh my gosh it's finally gonna work on me and somehow it looked even drier on my skin i don't even understand how so we're gonna try this one again we're gonna give this one a second chance i've done that a lot to products where i give them a second chance and they end up working for me the second time around and we're also gonna try to lighten up this uh 
this situation because I look crazy. But this is the shade Fair Beige. I think it's a little too light. We're gonna make it work because that's what we do around here. I do like the sponge. I think it's really good for concealer. Do, do you see that creasing already? I need this to work, okay? You need to work today. <laughs> Hopefully we can get this to work today though. Maybe, maybe my skin will give it a chance, you know? It's actually looking really, really nice right now. Okay, before we set the under eyes, I have the e.l.f. Putty Blush. I think this is the shade, oh, you know what? I'll have it on the screen because I forget and it's not on here for some reason. You know what? I'm gonna take this brush over here since it barely has foundation on it. We're gonna see how this works. I don't have a cream bronzer. I don't, I think they have a cream contour kit. I think they do, but uh, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. But we're just gonna do cream blush before we set. This looks so pretty. I'm actually really liking how this looks right now. Hopefully it wears well. It's not like I'm going anywhere anyway. <laughs> to set my under eyes, I don't really set the rest of my face. We're gonna see, cause I don't know about this. But this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I first heard this from Taylor Wynn. Like she loves, love, loves this stuff. We wanted to make it look like your skin is wearing a beauty filter. Silky weightless texture of the setting powder drapes the skin for a dreamy, blurring, soft focus effect. It has finely milled synthetic sapphire particles to give your skin a soft glow, helps smooth the appearance of fine lines and blurs imperfections. Formula to keep shine at bay and ensure makeup looks and feels fresh throughout the day so we're gonna see how this looks under the eyes because i'm a little nervous about that so i do have a brush that they gave me i think for free yeah it says a gift for our gift to you thanks for being all thing amazing that's so cute this says it's a highlighter brush but i think it's a little too big to be a highlighter brush i'm gonna use it for the powder the packaging is actually genius because not a lot of product comes out which means you won't get a waste like a lot of wasted product it looks pretty glowy it does seem really finely milled maybe this will help set my concealer i'm just gonna dust this like everywhere it actually seems like i have a <laughs> really big streak under my eyes so let me just keep blending that okay I like this brush. It feels really soft. I don't even know if you could purchase this brush, but it, it's it's really soft under the eyes. It feels really nice. Okay, so for the under eyes, let's just go ahead and take the same shades. We're gonna be boring today. We're just gonna take the dark shade first. And then the lighter mint shade. We're gonna take this shade in the inner corners. Oh, that shade is stunning. There's a huge difference in formula for some reason between the two shimmer shades. <gasps> I just love that shimmer, that inner corner highlight. Oh my God, so pretty. I love these palettes. I think they're so worth the money. These were $4 each. The other ones are $3. I don't know why these are a little more expensive, but I love them either way. Definitely recommend them. Okay, so moving on to the rest of the face. I have this primer infused bronzer. Now I did own this like a few years ago, but I'm pretty sure I decluttered it or it's in storage. But this is what it looks like. Kind of more of a warm tone bronzer, but we'll make it work. Definitely just warms up the skin. It could give a little chisel. I think it's really nice. It blends on the skin really nicely and can't complain about it. I have a couple of blush options actually. So I have this Bite Size Face Palette, which I actually haven't tried yet at, at all. Face Duo is what it's called. This is in the shade White Peach. I'm just gonna like open it and swatch it real quick because I am intrigued. I have a different highlighter I'm gonna talk about. And let me tell you, it is my holy grail. I love that highlighter so much. This is what it looks like. It probably won't match the cream contour underneath oh my god it looks like the foundation shade <laughs> is it really that orange on me oh my gosh how embarrassing oh uh, but it is pretty wow that's pretty pretty buttery and smooth i like it but i think i'm gonna go with the other one this is the elf i think this is primer infused blushes or some something along those lines i don't know because it doesn't say it on here but i believe the shade is always fiery i don't know why i always remember it but it is literally my vibes Summertime vibes, cannot wait for it. Probably doesn't match my eye look that much. So I'm just gonna go like, chung, that's it. And like really lightly dust it over. It's pretty pigmented, so you gotta be careful. Like this is what it looks like normally. Like it is a scary looking blush, but honestly, totally my vibes. I love me a good orange blush. But for today, cause mint on the eyes and orange on the cheeks may not be everyone's cup of tea, including my own. I'm just gonna go a little bit softer and blend it out. I probably took it too far on this, on this side, but it's okay. So this is the setting spray. This is the Dewy Coconut Setting Mist and it's long lasting. I've never tried this. I've never tried an e.l.f. setting spray. I was waiting for this package today. Achieve a healthy looking glow with this coconut infused makeup setting mist. Our Dewy Setting Mist helps give your makeup lasting power while coconut is known to hydrate and condition condition the skin, use it to set your makeup or use throughout the day for a re refreshing burst of coconut. All right, so shake bottle and then let's see, let's see how the mister is, I'm very picky. Oh, 
Oh, it smells like coconut and I love the smell of coconut. It's a little strong, but I don't mind it. I know if you're really sensitive to smells, you probably won't like it, but more and more brands are coming out with this fine mist. Like, I don't know if you guys can see how fine. Ooh, don't get on my microphone. <laughs> How fine that is. I swear I could wear this as a perfume. It smells like coconut, like it is strong. I did really enjoy that. I do like the fine setting mist. It's not as fine as I would say like the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist or the new Benefit Pore, the Pore Professional, whatever, Pore Setting Spray crap that they have. There's another one that's really, really, oh, the Fenty one. The Fenty one is really, really fine. But this is, it's a, it's close to that. It's not quite there, but it's close. The highlighter I'm talking about is from the Retro Paradise Collection. This is the Multi-Dimensional -dimen Face and Body Shimmer. And this is in the shade Luna. The only thing about this and this look is that it has like a gold undertone. This has glitter particles. If you don't like that chunky glitter look, you will not like this. And it doesn't really go with the eye look. Like I would have liked something a little more silver. I originally bought this because I thought it was a dupe for the Fenty How Many Carrots. A subscriber asked me to see if it was a dupe and it's not a dupe. It This has a gold undertone and the Fenty one has a silver undertone. I love this. It is such a great formula and it's so affordable. I think it's still available at this point, even though the Retro Paradise collection was supposed to be limited edition. It's literally one of my favorite highlighters. Oh. I have a mascara I'm going to test out. I'm only going to do mascara. I wanted to buy those foaming lashes that they have because Juicy Jazz always raves about them, but they're out of stock and I couldn't get them. So I'm really sad, but I am going to try this mascara. And I love testing out mascaras without putting on lashes on because then you can really see the full effect. This is the Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. I've heard nothing but great things about this. This is the packaging. It's like a rose gold situation. And I don't know why it confused me because it felt like the... The lettering should be over here, <laughs> not at the top, not at the cap. Let's see what the wand looks like. Ooh, it looks like this might be a dupe for the Benefit, like their real, the Magnet Mascara that just came out. It looks really similar. It looks like a plastic applicator. It's a straight shot that way. Like it's a straight applicator and it has like pointy specs, pointy specs. Oh my God, I can't speak today. You know what I mean? I'm gonna curl my lashes real quick because I do that. Okay, now we're ready to get into it. I like, I like the, like the fact that it's a struggle to get it out. That means you don't get a lot of product on the wand at first. Do you guys see that? Ow, poked my eyeball. This is my first time ever trying an elf mascara, so. So I think this one volumizes a lot. So this is one layer done. I'm gonna try and go in with another layer and hopefully we don't get clumpy. I like it. This is a good mascara. For the price, I definitely think it's a good mascara. Hopefully it doesn't transfer in the word test, so we'll see. Okay, so for lips, I actually recently got the Retro Paradise Lip uh, Line and Shine Lip Kit. So it has four lip pencils and a lip gloss, and I actually have another lip gloss that I wanna use today. This is the Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Peach Bellini. This is recommended from Taylor Wynn as well. She really likes that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, do some swatches and pick my lip shade. Yeah, so this is just as lip liner. All right then, free juice thing. Oh, that one felt creamier than the rest of them. I know I will get a ton of use out of that in the summer. I'm gonna be going in with Peach Bellini and probably the lightest shade lip liner just to see how this looks. Make this look a little bit more neutral. I don't typically like wooden lip pencils, but it's okay. It is really creamy. I like it a lot actually. And this is a really nice nude shade. Let's try this lip plumping gloss situation. So this is definitely like a topper. It's one that you would put in the middle of like your liner because it's very, very nude. But I do want to see if it tingles. Ooh, I love it. I love it. It's really nice and juicy and it's not too glossy. I think it matches this look really nicely, actually. So far, I'm not feeling any plump at all, like at all. I really like this lip combo though. I'm really liking this, all right. And now that I'm like, I've sat for a little bit, oh, it does feel a little tingly. It's not so uncomfortable though. Like I hate the Too Faced lip injection, but it does feel like my lips like look a little bit bigger, but I really like this combo with the eyes. Oh my gosh, I love this lip combo. Yes, elf, yes. I'm really loving the way everything is looking, including my base so far. I have no complaints about anything at all. That's crazy. I loved everything I tried. It is 712. Wanted to get this done sooner, but I couldn't. Story of my life, right? I will try to be back as late as possible just to show you 
how everything wore. I hope to get a good indication of whether I'm gonna like the CC cream and the concealer as well. So we'll see, hopefully I do. It's 11.48 right now. I tried to stay up as late as possible. This is how we're looking. So the mascara does kind of transfer on the under eyes a little bit. I can't imagine how it would be after like an eight hour day. <clears throat> no, where's my voice? My base looks really good. I've heard that the CC cream is really drying for a lot of people. I think it looks fine. I think my favorite thing out of this entire video is the brow products, which is so random, I know. I also really, really, really love the eyeshadow palette. And I also love the lip combo. I loved everything that I used, really. I love the way everything turned out. Let me know what your favorite product from e.l.f. is. Do you love e.l.f. as much as I do? Because seriously, e.l.f. has my heart. Anyway, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. The mint, um, the milk mount, e.l.f. What? So I do have the two new mint eyeshadow palettes from the way we do things around here. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try.